What is going on, Fam Jam? It's another edition of the holiday version of Yeehaw or Hell Not. We're calling it Naughty or Nice. Today, we're going to check out voice play again, uh, one that you guys have actually turned me on to, and I've really enjoyed reacting to their videos. So, this is going to be voice play, and we're going to do a holiday theme with your a mean one, Mr. Grinch. And that is... <clears throat> a movie that I watch every single year. If you want to, you can check out my top 10 list of holiday movies in an earlier video in the channel's history. Uh, I'll try to put it right here. And uh, you can definitely check that out if you feel uh, moved to do so. If not, if you want to check out this, then we're going to jump into Mr. Grinch. Now, I grew up on Jim Carrey's version of The Grinch. I love that movie so much. Um, especially the amount of things he had to go through to film that movie. Uh, but it turned out spectacular. Of course, I love the original animated version. But that, that Jim Carrey one is so special to me. And has really made me enjoy uh, Why the Grinch Stole Christmas for years. So I wanted to do this one. I think this would be a really fun one to see how they play with the different voices in the song uh, with voice play. Now this one is featuring, and I'm sorry if I messed up the name, Adriana Arellano. I'm going to say that's that's the person's name. Um, if I butchered that, I'm very sorry. I apologize. Uh, but I'm very interested in watching you guys sing, so I apologize about the name if I messed it up. But we're going to dive on in uh, to Your Mean One, Mr. Grinch, by Voice Play and Adriana Arellano. So let's go. They have who knows it. Hey Grinch, you're a triple decker sauerkraut and toadstool sandwich. Yeah. Okay. With arsenic sauce. Oh, 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 that's the very worst kind of sandwich. I know. It's disgusting. <laughs> Too funny. Too funny. Guys, I think we're on. Uh -oh. Is Jeff the, the Grinch? The cameras are rolling. Here we go. One, two, three, and. Do -do 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 oh no, there he is. Okay. So the tonality there, I can definitely hear Jeff's bass, um, but I like uh, Adriana. I'm not familiar with her, but I think her voice blends with the with the group really well. It's super special. Um, so let's check this out. I'm excited. Them and their who knows is is very funny. Uh, so let's dive in. Well, you were flat. Black that I have noticed in reacting to acapella groups in general. One that I like that I, I, I don't know if I noticed that I enjoyed um, listening to other kinds of music and other genres, but the contrast of going really low, which that bass is it's like disgustingly low. It's, it's so good. Um, but to then pop it all the way up instead of walking it up, that contrast of just a jump, I really like that. And I don't know if it's, I, I don't really know how to describe it other than like a bass is like a punch to the chest. It's like, boom, boom, boom. and then 
what happens when you get punched in the chest? You kind of cave in and look down. And then the tenor brings you back up. I don't know if this is tenor. Uh, I'm not going to swear to it. Maybe baritone. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not that educated in it. Um, but that just brings you up and like straightens you back out is what it feels like. And I'm not saying a punch the chest in a bad way. I'm not <laughs> criticizing. I like everybody's voice in this. And I've said that multiple times. So don't take it as a bad thing. It's just, it's just so low and so power that you just, boom, it's just, ooh, man, that sounds so good. And then the, then the contrast hits and it goes right back up. And you're like, oh, whoa, this is cool. So um, just in general in acapella groups, I like when they do that. Instead of walking it up, they just contrast and hit you straight up. I love that. So let's jump back in. Full of spiders, you got garlic in your soul, Mr. Grinch. And I wouldn't touch you You have all the tender sweetness of a seasick crocodile, Mr. Grinch. And given the choice between the two, I'll take the seasick crocodile. That's the meanest thing so far. Eagles, his coursers, they came and he whistled and shouted and called them my name. Hello. Call them by name. Oh, um, <clears throat> on Max. <laughs> Woof. You're pathetic. From the top of the roof to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away. You're a foul one, Mr. Grinch. Yeah, you're a nasty, wasty skunk. The three words that best describe you are as follows. And I quote. Stink. Ew. Stank. Gross. Stung. You need a bad one. Mr. Grinch. And brush your teeth. Why are you Splashed with more their purple spots. <laughs> I think so. Your soul is an appalling dump heap, overflowing with the most disgraceful assortment of deplorable chromish imaginable, mangled up in. Tangled up now! Okay, um, wow, so first off, go back like 20 seconds and listen to how long that last bass note is. It's crazy. <laughs> it's like, love him so much. Uh, first off, I'll go with the person that I'm not super familiar with, which is Adriana. I think her voice matches super well with the guys, and it's a nice contrast because you don't, you don't always get that contrast. I know Pentatonics has... Um, that feeling, or not that feeling, but that contrast, uh, and I've said contrast like 17 times, sorry, but you get that with pentatonics, but some of the other ones you don't because they're um, all male, or at least the ones I've listened to, I'm not saying that all of them are, just the ones that I've reacted to have been that way, and you don't always get that contrast of female male vocal together. Um, hers does a really good shot. I love that they went into the who noses and had fun with the video as well. And I think it's an interesting approach to this song because you hear it in the Dr. Seuss version or you hear um, the animated Dr. Seuss version or you hear Ron Howard's version. And this is not, this is almost like a 50s barbershop quartet approach, 
that meets techno. And trust me, do I know in my head that that makes no sense that they're an acapella group and it sounds techno. But that was a little bit of that feeling. It's he- I would say it's like 70-30 of the barbershop quartet kind of thing. Not new age acapella, but old school acapella, which I like. But this almost had a techno feel to it, and that's with the sounds coming in on the back end. And they were really special. So don't think it's a bad thing. And, you know, I understand if people disagree, but be cordial in the comments if you choose to leave a comment, please. Um, but I like this one. This one's nice for sure. Not naughty at all. Another solid one from Voice Play. I like that we're doing this holiday theme stuff. And uh, they bring in and do a feature with Adriana Arellano. And I hope that name's right. If it's not, I'm very sorry that I didn't pronounce the name correctly. But that is what I felt of that song that I haven't felt in any one of them. You feel the narrator talk over music in most of the other versions that you hear and then you may get a little musicality some few lyrics but it's not so much it's more reading over instrumental backtracking this one is not that where jeff is doing the narrator part he's singing and doing a hell of a job at it so i I think it was a great approach to the song, and I think it was a, a nice breath of fresh air into a song that I feel like most of us know. So I enjoyed that one a lot. Uh, if you want to check it out without me yammering all over it, you can scroll down there, and the link will be in the description below. You can click on it and check it out for yourself. While you're on the way there, I would appreciate it so much if you would just hit that subscribe button if you haven't. If you have, thank you so much. The channel grows every day, and that is all because of you interacting with the videos, clicking on the videos, wanting to see what, what's what and what's going on and having fun with it. So thank you guys so much for doing that. And I just can't say that enough that thank you. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful holiday season and we will see you next time. But until then, Fam Jam, I'm out.